The new Nest cameras, the releases keep coming. This past week, the new indoor wired camera was finally released, and the new Nest Cam with floodlight was released. So we're going to unbox these bad boys, set them up, and then eventually, um, maybe in a week or so, we'll do a review. So let's get started. What up everybody, it's George Langenbeer with Silver Hammer Surveillance. Here on the channel we talk tech and we talk security. Today, again, we have a mixture of both. So, as you go back on the channel, you know how excited I was about the new Nest cameras. Some people love them, some people are indifferent, some people, uh, some of the features. I personally love them. Uh, been doing great so far as, as far as the battery cameras, both the uh, indoor-outdoor battery camera and the battery uh, doorbell. So this week, a little bit of a delayed release, but we got the indoor camera wired and the Nest Cam with floodlight. Today, we're going to do the indoor wired camera. We're going to unbox it and set it up. Uh, the wife here kind of already at least started the unboxing on the floodlight camera. She got a little excited, took the wrapping off of it, but I still haven't opened the box. But uh, so we're going to unbox this today. But uh, here in the apartment, we don't have a fixture that I can mount this on. And in my shop, we rent that shop and I don't have a fixture to mount it on there either. So we're going to actually mount this and test this at my parents' house. And that's not going to be today. So in the in that video, we're going to do a separate video where we do that setup um, from on location at my lovely parents' house. So anyway, let's get started with this guy. The Nest Cam Indoor Wired. Nice small box. And like I said, I'm not, the floodlight, I kind of understand this one. I'm not sure why they kind of delayed this release, but whatever. So it's just a, been a, I don't know, a month or so since the other ones came out. Um, How good did that cellophane feel coming off of that box? It felt good, and I feel robbed about the floodlight camera, Teresa, so thanks a lot. Yeah. But it was satisfying. Anytime you get the knife out, come on, that's good stuff. But now, anyway, this cam. Oh, it's a little guy. Oh, it is cute. I was expecting it to be basically the indoor/outdoor battery camera, but with a mount. But man, it's much smaller. That's kind of uh, cool. For indoor purposes. All right, so we got your documentation, and so this is USB. We got our power brick. We got some anchors and screws. This base is pretty heavy, uh, so you can screw this down, but uh, it feels pretty stable as is, as far as indoor cameras go. And it appears that that is it. So, mounting hardware if you want it. Power brick. USB cable. This cute little guy. All right, let's set it up. Okay, so we got our camera here. We just have a USB plug here, so I'm gonna set it up here in the kitchen. But um, pretty, pretty long cord. I, I should look at the link, but it's pretty lengthy. Um, all right, so got my charging brick, USB, we're plugged in. I'm going to the Google Home app because all the new Nest cameras are on the Google Home app to some of your um, dislike. But uh, anyway, I happen to like it. All right, so we heard the chime of the camera now that we plugged it in. In the Google Home app, I'm gonna, we're at this home, and you can see my other cameras there. I'm going to hit the plus button. I'm going to go to the top and hit Setup Device. And then we're going to do a new device, or new devices. And then we're going to pick that home. It's going to look for it, but in my experience with the other cameras, it's not going to find it. I think Google will probably um, solve that with a software update, but it's not a big deal. It's just normally it finds a device that's uh, connected to power. But then you've got this full list, and so easy to uh, solve that issue. Then we got an S-CAM wired, and we've got our trusty little QR code on the lens, which is removable. 
I kind of miss having the QR codes on the camera because obviously this is going to be hard to keep track of. Now there is a key on the camera where you can set up the camera without this if you ever need to set up your camera again, but I do kind of miss having the QR code on the camera. All right, so it sees that we uh, found a new Nest Cam wired. There's our little animation. We're agreeing to the terms, blah, blah, blah. Privacy, no blah, 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 and privacy. Privacy is very important. Help improve Nest Cam now. Because this is a new camera, I'm going to select that just because I feel like we're helping them with future software updates. Obviously, that's completely up to you. Um, but, you know, it's almost like we're kind of in a beta period, but but not, but I feel like any help they can get on improving these um, is a good thing. All right, so it's going to scan my Wi-Fi networks. And we do have a couple of the uh, indoor-outdoor battery cameras installed in here. And then we've got the, the new doorbell out here, which uh, if you go back and check out that video, you can see us set them up. This camera I'm actually going to use in our window because here in this apartment, uh, we've got a pretty cool view. And... It's awesome for weather, and so I like having a camera in our window for weather. Um, some storms and stuff, pretty cool to see from a camera. So a little side note on that, when you put a camera in a window, sometimes in an apartment you might just do that for normal security purposes, make sure you turn off the night vision because the night vision will reflect in the glass and you won't see anything at night. So that's just a helpful little tidbit on installing cameras in windows. All right, so it already found my Wi-Fi network because I had these other cameras in here. Now, if you was if, if this was the initial setup, you select your Wi-Fi network and you put in your Wi-Fi password. But again, if you have other devices, it's going to skip that step, which is what happened here. Getting your device ready, the little setup process, then you're going to pick where it's at. Now, this particular window is in our living room, so I'm going to scroll down and find living room. I'm going to hit next. And it's telling you to keep the QR code in a safe place. So like I said, you know, I know with our customers, they might have actually misplaced it by the time we even leave their house. So just, you know, keep that in mind. But there is a key on this camera. You need a magnifying glass to look at it sometimes, but um, you can set it up with that QR code. So don't panic if you lose it. All right, so I found also in these um, installs we've been doing on the battery cameras, that uh, Google has already hit uh, with a pretty nice software update. So that's what it's doing now. Um, so it looks like that software update applies to this camera as well. <clears throat> All right, so there you can see my live video. And then are you mounting this camera to a wall? In my case, no, because we're gonna put it in the window ledge here. And that's where it would take you to the actual walkthrough with installing it with the hardware that's included. The Google Home app, you know, I don't know what people's problem is with it, but as far as the setup goes, very detailed, shows exactly what to do, step-by-step, step, pretty easy to do yourself, and um, it couldn't be any easier. So I like the Google Home app. All right, adjust the microphone settings. So this is where you can turn on whether it wants you want the microphone on, and then if you do have the microphone on, do you want to record the audio? And so for privacy purposes, they give you the option. We're gonna hit next. And then I already set up my Nest Aware service with the other cameras. So now this camera is also automatically going to be included in that. But um, if, if you didn't set up Nest Aware yet, this is kind of where you start to do that. You will get a free trial of Nest Aware. And then um, after 30 days, it just have to figure out which plan you want. It's asking me if I want to set up home and away routines. Now, if this camera was anywhere where we were kind of worried about our privacy, the nice thing about these cameras is they are smart enough to know when you're home and when you're not as part of the Google Home app, so they can shut off for privacy when you're home, and they can turn on automatically when you leave, and that is all determined by the Bluetooth location of your phone. And so you can go in here, it's a, a setting called presence setting, or sensing, excuse me, presence sensing, and you can determine what devices that uh, know when you're home and when you're not. But again, with indoor cameras, it's kind of nice to have that privacy option. So if you want it to shut off when you're home, you can. I'm not gonna do that because it's gonna be in the window and I wanted all the time to catch those cool storms. All right, then that's going to ask me about the familiar face detection. Now, in this case, that's not a big deal because it's going to be in the window and it's not going to see any faces, but this is where you'd go ahead and turn that on. Uh, you can see here I've got it on for my other cameras. 
but that's uh, one of the cool Nest features is that facial recognition. And uh, it'll actually send you pictures of people and you say, do you know them or not? And then you can actually name them. And then from then on, it knows that person by name, which is a very cool feature of Nest. And um, yeah, so I'm going to turn it on even though we don't need it. Okay, stay in the know. This is where I will update you with product announcements, um, updates for your camera. So again, that's completely optional. Now I've already got this on like 17 different devices, so I'm going to hit no, but um, I get those emails anyway. So George, would this be able to use the Starling hub for the Apple TV as well, just like some of the previous ones you've done? Good question. Actually, we haven't got to set that up, so uh, go back and check out our last video on the Starling hub. Actually, it was two videos ago. Uh, that is a little hub device that will get your cameras into HomeKit. Now, since this camera was just released, about the same time that Starling Hub update happened, Tracy, I have a very good question. So maybe on the uh, floodlight camera video, I will know the answer to that. And again, that should be coming this weekend, so very good question. But Starling Hub, check it out. Very cool device that gets your Nest cameras, and actually all your Nest devices, speakers. You can use it with AirPlay 2 for speakers, your Nest thermostat, all that, um, including the new Nest thermostat, you can add it to HomeKit. So go ahead and uh, check out our video on that, but good question, and I will follow up with that answer on that next video for the floodlight camera. All right, so it says you're all set, and there it is, um, completely done, and uh, I'm gonna go um, put it in the window, and then come right back to you for a second. Okay, so we just installed the camera. It's down here behind the couch. I wanted to kind of tuck it out of the way so you don't see it getting our lovely view. Again, I love to watch the storms and the weather. So going back to the Google Home app, I'm gonna click on the living room camera, and there you go, you can see it. And again, you know, like, you know, some people put them in apartments or in windows or even at a house just to see out in their yard if you don't wanna install an outdoor camera. Again, just a tip, if you go to the settings wheel, top right, and you go to the video, you've got the night vision option right there, and it's set by default to auto, I'm gonna turn it off just because otherwise at night you're gonna get a complete reflection of the night vision in the glass and it's gonna kind of ruin your shot at night. So anyway, that's just a little tip. And then here, obviously you can see the settings, you got device information, that's where you can name it. <clears throat> and uh, my HomePod just uh, jumped in there. Thank you, iOS, but anyway. Um, notifications, that's where you can decide, uh, you know, what you're notified for. I'm actually gonna turn that off since it's in my window. I don't really care about the notifications. This is more about the weather for me. And then uh, you've got some audio control events, uh, which would be people, animals, vehicles, and packages in certain um, situations. But uh, anyway, that's the setting. So that's the setup. Very brief, very easy, just like the uh, indoor-outdoor battery cameras. But yeah, there we go. Okay, now that we set up the indoor camera, like I said, we're going to do a uh, separate video. Um, this obviously is gonna be our unboxing of this camera, but check out our separate video of actually setting this up and seeing how it works. But for now, let's just unbox it without the cellophane. <laughs> you don't even need your knife. See how I, easy that yeah, is? Yeah, it's so easy, but so unsatisfying. All right, so there it is. We got the camera separate. Now this one is pretty much the exact camera of the indoor outdoor battery, almost exactly. I mean, I think it is the same camera. Got the same charging port, same thread for mount. Um, you know, it's got the QR code just like that one. Like, I think this is pretty much the exact same camera. But then we've got the floodlight component. We've got two wires for your electrical. You do have a charging cable here, so I'm going to set that up. Let's see what that's all about. And then you've got your floodlights. And my thought with most floodlight cameras is they suck. No offense to all of them, but I just think they suck. So I have high hopes for this one that it doesn't suck. Uh, so we'll see how bright like, the light is. Like some of the cameras are great, but I just feel like like the ring spotlight, for example. You know, if you watch the commercial, it looks like it lights up your whole yard. It lights up like 10 feet in front of the camera, if that. So anyway, I have high hopes for these lights. We'll see how that goes. I have high hopes for them being good, too, because I like the look of that compared to any type of motion detecting motion. yeah for sure nice sleek modern look and then of course you got nice sleek modern camera on top of it 
I think this will go pretty well with any house. But yeah, it's a good looking, uh, good looking light for sure. All right, so then we've got, uh, just got a picture of it on the back. So you got some mounting plates. And then, uh, well, this is empty. Documentation. And some mounting hardware. So you got some wire nuts and some screws and then a grounding wire. So like I said, um, we can't mount it here. We just don't have the uh, fixture for it. And at my shop, same problem. So my lovely parents are going to get a camera donated to them. We're going to be going there this weekend to um, set it up and mount it. And so check out that separate video, which will just be the setup and, and my initial thoughts. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, please smash the like button. Thanks for visiting our channel. We very much appreciate having you here. Come back for more security talk, tech talk, some crazy shoplifter stories like our last video. Check that one out. I went on location in Bethany, Missouri for a crazy undercover operation that went wrong several years ago, but anyway, entertaining story. So come back for stories like that. And until the next video, peace and love.